Ruben, final up from the first leg, are you expecting Espanyol to make as many changes again tomorrow because they already think they are out of the competition? No, of course not. Um, it's a different game. You cannot think about the, the first leg uh, because you can be in trouble if you think on that. Um, just do our game uh, as we normally do. Uh, try to play our game and uh, play to, to win the match. Did it cause you problems at Molyneux because you had prepared to play against a different set of players? What was, how did you prepare in the days before? Did you expect there to be a reserve team or did you expect it to be their first team? No, we just we just expect the um, the way they played. Uh, we didn't know, of course, the players their coach uh, will choose for that game, uh, but we know how they play. We knew how they how they want to play. They create a lot of problems for us on the on the first half. Um, they can they can have a ball uh, for a long time in uh, in a game. They have uh, a lot of quality with the with the ball on the offensive game. Uh, but after the the half time on the first leg, we did some adjusts that, fortunately, uh, results for us. Uh, but like I said before, it's a different different game. We know they have a lot of quality, as, as I said, so we have to be on our, on our best. Ruben, it was a very special goal for, for yourself last week. Is, is that something that you've, obviously you, you work on, but is that something you've placed even more of an emphasis on as of late? You know, you, you, you've done it last week, want to do it maybe even tomorrow or in the next game? I'll try to do every, every game. <laughs> if I can do it every game, it's good for me, for the team. Um, but if I, if I have, if I have the, the chance to, to take my risk and to, to shoot, I will do it because I know it's a, it's a, a good thing for, um, for the team, it's a good solution. Uh, so uh, every time I can, I will try to help the team. Have you found the journey in the, in the competition thus far? Obviously you've had European experience before from, with Porto, but this journey for has been a bit unique with the playoffs and things like that, gone to a lot of different places. How uh, uh, have you found the journey now? Do you think you've got stronger as the journey has gone on? Yeah, of course. Um, I think it's normal um, because we start playing on our, on our pre-season almost, um, the qualifiers games. Uh, so it's up to us to improve um, every single game. And I think now we are better than we than we were when we start the, um, our journey on the on the Europe. But uh, we did great results as well. Uh, it's our it's our goal. It's win every single every single game we we play, and uh, try to improve um, from from tomorrow to to the next game as well. Ruben, do you think the squad as it is would be capable of competing in the Champions League if you qualified for it through this competition or through the Premier League? No, we can we can um, we can talk about it at this in this moment. Um, I think we are on a, on a very good moment, um, but we have our feet on the ground. Um, we know what we are capable of, um, but we have we have to be focused on our competitions at the moment to keep our um, to keep our pace and to keep the way we we are doing the things. So I think it's not fair. Uh, think about that uh, at the moment because our philosophy is always game by game and uh, tomorrow we have a really important game um, to, to try to win and uh, after we'll look, we'll look to the Premier League so I don't think it's the moment to, to speak about the Champions League Ruben, we're here in Barcelona where Adama Traoré grew up as a player I wondered what you've made of his progression in the last 18 months and have you ever played with anyone like him before in your life? No, of course not. <laughs> with the strength and uh, with that, with that uh, pace he have, I never played with uh, someone like, like him. Um, I think he improved a lot since he arrived here. Uh, now he can, he can decide games for us. Um, I think it was a, a great job from, from the coach as well. Uh, Adama is a really important player for us, and like we, we already we already saw, um, he can do whatever, <coughs> almost whatever he, he wants uh, in the game because he's a really special player. Um, and if he can decide well, like he like he's been doing uh, the last times, 
he's a player that can can help us a lot. Ruben, I think you've scored 15 goals for Rogues. 12 of them have been from outside the box. Spectacular goals, free kicks. Three have been penalties. How did you get so good at that type of technique as a child? Is there something you did? And secondly, every child dreams of scoring a goal like your one last week. Do you ever dream of scoring a scruffy goal from six yards out? <laughs> no, I think, I think it's... Um from from uh, the academy, I, I always like to, to shoot outside the box, so I I always try to, to improve on that part of my of my game. Um, and like I said a lot of, of times before, um, it's about my it's about my position. I think uh, I don't go inside the box uh, too many times in in a game, so every time I have chance to, to shoot outside the box, I try because, like I said as well, it's a solution uh, for the team. And if I can help the team with the, with the shoot outside the box, I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to ask, did you have a, was there a wall beside your house or something? Did you practice as a child? Is some something to do with that? Yeah, I've always, I've always practiced uh, a lot uh, when I was uh, a kid. Every time I had a chance, uh, I, play, I play football at home uh, with my friends. So I think that's, that's something that, that comes with, with me. Um, for a long time ago, and, um, and my goal is improve on that uh, because I know uh, it's important for me, and uh, like I said, it's a good solution for everyone. On a similar subject, you know, in the last few weeks, Nuno has changed back to a 3 5 2, having three of you guys in midfield. You score so many spectacular goals, but the Wolves fans want you to shoot every single time you get the ball. I don't know whether you hear the fans crying shoot every time you pick up the ball, but when you play in a 3-5-2, you are the deepest, the lowest of the, of the midfielders. Do you think it suits your game better to be further up the field and have those opportunities to score? Or do you like being the, which sometimes we say the pivot, or the, you know, the person in front of the back line? Uh, I don't know. Um, it's about, we have, we have a, a great squad, and... Um, we have a lot of, of solutions on our on our shape, um, so it depends depends on the game. The coach chooses the the best shape to for us to to play, and doesn't matter if I play as a pivot um, or as a central midfielder. I just want to do my best, even even when when I play a little bit more more behind, uh, I still have chances to to shot uh, because. Uh, sometimes we press a little bit high uh, with the second balls on the crosses, on the corners. So I don't think I don't think that makes um, much difference for me. Ruben, when you were growing up, was there a player you watched who was particularly good at striking the ball from distance in Portugal or outside that you liked to watch and that you maybe copied that player's technique? To be honest, um, I don't have a player. Um, that I saw that shoot outside the box. Uh, I always saw Pirlo, as I said, as I said before. Uh, Porto had a player that that had a really good shot. Um, well, two players, Hulk and uh, Freddy Guarín. Mm -hmm. uh, they are both. They can do amazing goals. Uh, but I think this is this is um, our own technique. Um, it's hard to, to see someone and try to do the same thing because you have your own technique. You need to improve your, your own uh, your own stuff. So I think this is a, a thing that that I want to to improve and that I improved um, alone uh, because I think I, I have this. Fortunately, I have I have that quality in my in my football. So just to go back to Adama Traoré. So many times in the Premier League this season, players have been booked yellow carded for tactical fouls. In training, do the, his teammates do tactical fouls? If he runs past you, will you pull his shirt? Is it the same kind of attitude, or do you think, no, it's a dumb one, let, let him go? <laughs> no, it's, it's hard to do fouls in a dumb, you know. <laughs> uh, no, we try, we try to, to stop him, of course. Um, it's a training session, we need to train as we play. And uh, if you let him pass, it's not good for him as well because he can't improve. 
so we try to do our best. It's not easy. Uh, it passes most of the times, uh, but we try to do we try to do our best to, to stop him as well in trainings. Hi, Ruben. Um, obviously, the Wolves sold out their allocation tickets very quickly. I've spoken to lots of fans who've travelled here just to be a part of it, knowing they won't get into the game, or, or they're hoping they will, but I don't think they will. But it shows you how you, the team, have captured the imagination of the fans, this European journey. What does it mean for you to be at the centre of something that's exciting Wolves fans so much? It's, it's uh, really special. Um, our fans are, uh, are amazing. To be honest, since I came here on the, on the championship, the atmosphere was always unbelievable. Uh, even when we play away from home, sometimes we are playing away and you just, you just uh, listen to our fans singing. Uh, it seems like we are playing at home. So we have to, to thank to them as well because they are part of it. They are part of our um, of our job, uh, and um, they they can be sure we'll do again our best uh, to make them happy. It, it almost feels like they've grown with this team. You know their support, their their excitement at what they're seeing unfold in front of them. Of course, of course, it, it's easier. Um, when you support a team that is on uh, on a good form, um, but we had uh, we had some bad moments as well, and they were always always there for for us. Uh, we had a lot of games without without a win um, this season, last season as well, uh, and they they always believed in the in the project in the team. So that uh, helped us a lot to to play and give us an extra motivation to to play and to give them uh, all we can. Ruben, you haven't rotated quite as much this season as people expected. How are energy levels in the squad and if, uh, if they're good, how big a help was the winter break a few weeks ago? I think the energy is, um, is good. Um, we have a lot of people working uh, behind us um, for us to be always fit. Um, to play and uh, they are really important as well we almost we almost don't talk about it uh, but it's it's uh, almost the, the most important part of um, of the game is be is be fit and the way they they work with us the way they do the recovery sessions the strength the strength sessions it's really important for us and i think we are uh, everyone are are fit um, to play uh, about the winter break, I think was uh, was good. It's a good idea from from the league uh, because uh, mainly for us because we, we start playing really early this this season. It was important to have to have a break, a time to a time to be together, um, to break routines and um, try to to take our head a little bit out of the of football because it's always important to have this kind of um, of breaks to, to rest as well. Ruben, uh, at Porto, um, your manager Nuno was part of Jose Mourinho when he took Porto on an amazing journey and he took him to Europa League victory and to the European Cup victory. Do you believe what he's seen there? Do you believe you're on a similar journey here and that you're capable of going all the way in this competition? I believe, I believe um, Nuno um, have uh, experience enough um, to take us as, as far as he can. Um, but like I said before, and I said this uh, lots of times before, I'm repeating myself, but it's it's the truth. Um, we just play every single game to win. Doesn't matter the opponent, doesn't matter the the competition. We want to compete every single match, uh, and that's our philosophy. So uh, go game by game and try to do our best in every single one.